Okay, experiment uh, that we're going to do is as normal 4.5. Okay, 4.5 is actually for you to determine the position of carbon in the reactivity series. So, you need to look at your science process book, page 93. Okay, carbon. Then we have aluminium oxide. So these are all the metal oxide you need. As someone that has been okay, we look at the color. There's color change. You notice? Okay, there's yellow color and there's flame. So that shows that. The first assignment, zinc oxide and carbon. Okay. There is reaction. Alright. So the observation is there is a glow. Okay. There's a thin glow here. And also there's change in color. So in this experiment, we, add, uh, we added carbon and uh, aluminium oxide. So um, after we added the two substances, then we stir it evenly and we switch on the Bunsen burner and heat it up heated it um, strongly after a few minutes of um, burning you can see that there's no reaction between the carbon and uh, aluminium oxide okay so what does it show you when there's no reaction uh, aluminium. Aluminium. louder Aluminium is less reactive than carbon. Aluminium is less reactive than carbon. Carbon. Okay. Good. Uh, so we added lead oxide and carbon together, stirred it, and then uh, opened the Bunsen burner, heated it uh, about a few minutes, and then after a few minutes, uh, we can see that there's a reaction. So in um, conclusion, uh, the in conclusion, yes. the lead is more reactive than carbon. As you can see, there is some glow and also so the mixture glows. Nothing. So, uh, so there are there's glow showing there's reaction. Yes. Okay, what's the influence if there's reaction? Carbon and lead oxide. So, uh, uh, so if let's say there is glowing, carbon is uh, more reactive than lead. Okay.